Hi, I'm Dr. Jeffrey Riopelle. I'm a physician in San Ramon, California, and I'd like to give you a presentation today on joint rejuvenation using a new process that has become uh, more widespread in the United States over the last one to two years. This is a process in which we rejuvenate, help to rejuvenate joints by placing cells that are derived from uh, liposuction into the joints, along with uh, PRP, or platelet-rich plasma. So this process has actually been used on a number of pro athletes now, uh, fairly well-known names, and uh, is becoming more widespread throughout the country as an alternative therapy, an alternative to uh, other types of joint rejuvenation uh, processes. So let's talk a little bit first about what happens with joints over the years. Well, joints can become uh, painful and sore and develop uh, ongoing, lingering uh, difficulties for, for patients. And over the past years, we've treated uh, many, many patients with the more classic treatments, which include uh, injection, or first initially using corticosteroids uh, or uh, injections in joints, uh, in other words, cortisone, uh, or first, often using anti-inflammatory medications such as uh, ibuprofen, Aleve, uh, naproxen, and so on. So this is the classic first treatment for a joint that's having problems. Uh, next, if a joint has become uh, severely problematic with uh, restriction of motion, pain, uh, ongoing symptoms, a joint can be replaced, such as a total hip, total knee, total shoulder, uh, by an orthopedic surgeon. And there are hundreds and hundreds of these cases done every year. Well, what we'd like to talk to you about is a process that would be done maybe before a a, re a joint replacement is needed and hopefully to help rejuvenate the joint to, to make it feel better and function better. What we're talking about is cell therapy and um, cell therapy is the newest in an armamentarium for joint rejuvenation. So let's talk a little bit about the process of what's going on in a joint. Over the years uh, it starts out for example the knee uh, may develop some mild symptoms of um, discomfort and gradually the knee can, can become more symptomatic with pain going upstairs and then eventually pain on just walking and even pain lying in bed. So these other processes can be used along the way as I've just mentioned for the knee but if we want to rejuvenate the knee doing this new process let me tell you how that works. We actually take cells from the fatty tissue uh, it turns out there are large numbers of anti-inflammatory cells in the fat tissue which coexist with the fat and they actually have been shown to migrate back and forth between the bone marrow and the fat. And these cells can be actually used to rejuvenate the knee. The way the process works is we take uh, the patient into our minor surgery area and we'll prep the area to be to have the fat removed. For example, the abdomen, the hips, the sides, uh, wherever the patient would like to have fat removed. And you know, who doesn't have some fat that they'd like to have removed from somewhere? Uh, we then, we use a, what's called tumescent lipo to numb the fatty tissue. And then we put in this special instrument called the tickle lipo unit. Uh, the tickle lipo unit is something that actually shakes or vibrates inside the fatty tissue in the body and it knocks the cells out of suspension. You can think of the fat as sort of a, like, it's like a barbed wire fence with balloons hung to it. The barbed wire representing the matrix and the balloons representing the fat and the other cells that are there coexisting uh, that are actually hooked to this matrix. The tickle lipo vibrates in the matrix, knocking the balloons, in this case the fatty tissue and the cells, off and then at the same time using suction, suctions those up into a special sterile container that looks something like this. And this is about all the fat that we need, maybe 150, 200 cc's of fat and fluid in order to uh, do this process for an individual given joint. Once that is obtained, we then uh, separate out the special cells that we're going to be transplanting uh, via a special process, and we take those cells, leaving the fat behind. We discard the fat. We take the cells and then we draw blood from the patient, just as if we were drawing blood to send off to the lab for blood tests. But in this case, we take the blood and we use a special kit to create PRP, or platelet-rich plasma.
Platelet-rich plasma is a combination of platelets and growth factors. And we take this platelet-rich plasma and we, we mix it in with the rejuvenating cells that we've obtained from the fatty tissue. Now this sterile uh, combination of the two is then injected into the joint that we want to rejuvenate. So if we want to rejuvenate, for example, the shoulder, um, we'll find the locations that we want to inject into, just as if we're doing a cortisone injection into the shoulder. Uh, whether or not that's the capsule or joint itself, or it might be the subacromial space that has tendons and so on going through it. And whatever the area that we find is the area that we want to rejuvenate, that's the area that we'll inject into. For the knee, it's exactly the same. Uh, we will take the, uh, we'll go to the knee, we'll prep the knee sterilely and with betadine and then inject in just as, we, as if we were injecting a cortisone shot into the knee. The patient then goes home, recovers from the mini lipo procedure, and then goes through physical therapy over about a six to eight week period. And between the physical therapy and the injection that we've done, we, re we re rejuvenate the joint. So let me talk about a couple patients that we've done. Uh, about eight weeks ago, we did a, a gentleman who's about 70 years old and was having uh, chronically um, painful uh, shoulder and he had difficulty moving his shoulder through range of motion. In other words, it was somewhat uh, stiff or frozen. We did the process I just talked about on the shoulder uh, to do the joint rejuvenation. We then sent him off to physical therapy and uh, within eight weeks his shoulder was moving much better. He was able to perform pretty much any function that he used to be able to and he had very little to no discomfort in his shoulder. He rated his pain about a nine prior to the joint rejuvenation and about a one to two um, eight weeks after the rejuvenation. Another patient I'll talk about was a woman uh, about 55 who came in about uh, six months ago and she was having knee discomfort and she wanted to go through the rejuvenation process. So again, we did the same tickle lipo process with her, took the, uh, the cells, did the PRP, mixed them together, injected them into her knee, sent her off to physical therapy, and about six to eight weeks later, she came back saying that her pain level had gone from about an eight out of 10 to about a one to two out of 10, including ability to move around and to walk without difficulty, and to even to take stairs without difficulty, whereas before she had a lot of discomfort going up and down stairs. At six months out, I saw her about uh, two weeks ago, and she still is doing very well with uh, still the excellent rejuvenation effect from the procedure. So this is how joint rejuvenation works using cell therapy. And we'd like to encourage you to uh, give us a call if you'd like further information. Our phone number in San Ramon, California is area code 925 275-9333, and I thank you very much for listening to our presentation today.